Hello friends, so in this video we are going to talk about important parts of the refrigerator and just see the introduction of the vapor compression center. So let's get started. So first and most important thing in refrigerator is compressor. So if you see the back side of the refrigerator at the bottom, you can see one black box and that is nothing but compressor. So if I enlarge this, this will look like this. This one is hermetically sealed compressor. There are different types of compressor, but normally in domestic refrigerator, we are using hermetically sealed compressor. Now the function of the compressor is to increase the pressure of the refrigerant, vapor refrigerant. Now because of increasing its pressure, its temperature also increases. So ideally this process is isentropic process. That means entropy of the refrigerant is constant during this process but in real life there are some losses isentropic process is also known as reversible adiabatic process that means there will not be any heat interaction so heat interaction in this case is not there now second important part is condenser so at the back side of the refrigerator you might have seen such kind of pipe such kind of pipe is there at the back side of the refrigerator and this is nothing but condenser the vertical pins are there the main function of this vertical pins is to just support the condenser condenser is one of the heat exchanging device so its main function is to extract the heat uh, from the refrigerant to the surrounding so this heat rejection happens at constant pressure and because of rejecting of the heat the vapor refrigerant is converted into the liquid refrigerant that means condensation occurs so that's why we are calling uh, the condenser for this heat exchanger and this uh, process happens at constant pressure so ideally this process is isobaric wow. a third important part is expansion device so in uh, domestic refrigerator normally we are using capillary tube there are other expansion devices as well like throttle wall is there expansion wall is there such kind of expansion devices are there so you can see this one is expansion device so if i enlarge this 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 is the capillary tube that we are using in our domestic refrigerator since it is a capillary tube so it has diameter less than 6 mm so main purpose main function of this capillary tube is to reduce the pressure and temperature now because of reduction reduction in pressure cooling effect we are getting uh, at the end of the capillary tube this process is isenthalpy process that means uh, enthalpy of the system is constant enthalpy at the inlet uh, is equal to the enthalpy at the outlet a fourth important part is evaporator so if you open your refrigerator whatever this cooling compartment is there this cooling compartment is nothing but evaporator so if i enlarge this evaporator it will look like this so you can see uh, the embedded pipes are there in the evaporator so evaporator is also heat exchanging device device the refrigerant in the evaporator will absorb the heat from whatever the things we are keeping in the evaporator now because of that we are getting the cooling effect inside the evaporator so this heat absorption happens at constant pressure and uh, because of heat absorption the refrigerant evaporates actually that's why we are calling it as evaporator and the third thing this evaporation process happens at constant pressure so this one is isobaric process so these four components we have seen that is uh, compressor then second one is condenser third one is expansion device and that um, fourth one is evaporator and this is this complete cycle is nothing but vapor compression cycle you can see how uh, the components are situated first compressor is there then condenser then expansion device and then the evaporator so in in terms of block diagram we are showing this vapor compression cycle like this so this is the compressor which takes the work input so whatever the electricity we are providing that electricity we are providing to the compressor then uh, your refrigerant goes to the condenser so in the condenser heat is rejected to the uh, surrounding because of that your vapor refrigerant is converted into the liquid refrigerant then it goes to the expansion wall where the expansion occurs because of that pressure and temperature decreases and it goes to the evaporator where the heat is absorbed from the surrounding and because of that because of absorption of heat this refrigerant is converted into the vapor so again the cycle repeats so in our uh, carnot refrigeration we are showing the things like this 
so this is your refrigerator and we are providing the work input remember that work input we are providing to the compressor major work input we are providing to the compressor and the heat is absorbed in the evaporator so whatever this lower temperature sink is there that is in the evaporator and the heat is rejected to the surrounding so this higher temperature source that is nothing but surrounding temperature so if i uh, tell you in terms of temperature and pressure so at the start of the compressor your refrigerant has low pressure as well as low temperature but it is in vapor form as it goes to the compressor because of compression press process its temperature increases as well as pressure increases so at the point number 2 the your refrigerant it is in vapor form but it it has high temperature and high pressure then then it goes to the condenser so in the condenser at constant pressure heat is rejected to the surrounding because of that its pressure remains same and temperature slightly decreases but your refrigerant is converted from vapor to the liquid so at point number 3 your refrigerant it is at high temperature high pressure but in liquid form then it goes to the expansion valve and because of the expansion its pressure decreases as well as temperature decreases so at point number 4 your refrigerant it is in two phase region or we can say wet region so it is at low pressure and low temperature then it goes to the evaporator again in the evaporator heat is absorbed at constant pressure so because of absorption of heat the refrigerant is converted from two phase region to the vapor region so this process happens at constant pressure now if i see the uh, pressure sides so in compressor we are increasing the pressure and the in expansion valve we are decreasing the pressure so roughly we can say that this is high pressure side this is high pressure side and likewise in the expansion valve we are reducing the pressure so this one is low pressure side okay likewise if you see your state of the refrigerant then in this case most your refrigerant it is in vapor form so you can see in the evaporator your refrigerant is converted to phase region to the vapor region and in the compressor your vapor is compressed refrigerant vapor is compressed and in the condenser uh, it it will be condensed from the vapor to the liquid so this region is vapor region and in this region your refrigerant is mostly in liquid form okay so in the condenser it will condense so that's why it is converted into the liquid in the expansion wall it converts into the two phase region but maximum amount of two phase region is liquid only okay so this side is liquid side and this side is vapor side so that's all from this video please like this video please share it and please comment on this video also